Never 21 when everyone's a sailor Coming up strong at the animal bar Never loving Marg of Mr. Norman Mailer Turn another page at the animal bar the Red Hot Chili Peppers, along with many of the world's top bands and musicians, are set to perform at the world's first ever Live Earth concert, whose goal is to bring attention to our worsening global climate crisis. The Chili Peppers will be performing at the UK concert, which will be held at Wembley Stadium in London on July 7th, with the Beastie Boys, Black Eyed Peas, Block Party, Kareem Bailey Ray, Razor Light, Snow Patrol, and Spinal Tap. Most of the artists performing at Live Earth are already on their summer tours, but not very many bands booked three shows in 24 hours in three separate countries, which is exactly what the Red Hot Chili Peppers will be doing. We caught up with Anthony Kiedis, lead singer for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, to find out the band's itinerary for an incredibly busy rock and roll 24 hours. We play a show in Paris the night before. We're going to fly through the night to London. We're going to wake up, we're going to play that show in London. Then we're going to get back on a plane and go play in Copenhagen that night. So it's the old three shows in 24 hours trip. After garnering four Grammy Awards for their latest release, Stadium Arcadium, the Red Hot Chili Peppers have concluded their touring cycle and after performing at Live Earth, will look to take a well-deserved break. Although the band is undoubtedly conceiving new material, there are no immediate plans to get back into the studio to record the follow-up to Stadium Arcadium. Other bands set to participate in Live Earth will be The Police, Dave Matthews Band, Foo Fighters, Smashing Pumpkins, Roger Waters, Akon, Bon Jovi, Alicia Keys, Wolfmother, James Blunt, and Linkin Park, among many others. Flesh on the 